Free Energy Innovation Beyond Motionless Electromagnetic Generator Part 2 In this video, we'll talk about how and how much free energy is generated, which we didn't discuss in detail in Part 1. This is a power meter display that I made myself. The fundamental formula for real power, often called active power, is PVIPF, where P is power in watts, V is voltage in volts, I is current in amperes, and PF is the power factor. This formula applies to single-phase AC circuits. First of all, I'm going to measure again the total power consumption of the six LED lights. The total energy consumption is 90.5 watts and power factor is 0.98. We're going to compare this power consumption to the power consumption using a magnet-assisted transformer. Next, let's check the energy consumption of the magnet-assisted transformer. The standby energy consumption is 2.8 watts. Great. Let me double check the consumption of six LED lights. I will also move the lights away to read the display clearly after lighting. The power consumption measurement is 75 watts. It also has a power factor of 0.83. This means that the coils of the transformer reduce the number of PFs. In the part one video, I said it has a power saving effect of around 14 watts rather than free energy because I needed a more detailed investigation in the part two video. The retest gave me 15.5 watts. So let's do a more accurate test in this video. This is a magnetic flux flow when the AC60 Hertz current is positive. Magnet fluxes are characterized by using the shortest distance. Therefore, coil 1's path passes through the magnet at the center. The next picture will help you understand. I use the FEM 4.2 to simulate the previous image. Of course, this is not a very accurate calculation. It is a rough calculation. It is also a 2D simulation. From this result, the magnetic flux is consistent with the previous plot. Again, this is a magnetic flux flow when the AC 60 Hertz current is negative. Since this phenomenon is alternately repeated by AC 60 Hertz, AC 60 Hertz electricity is induced in coil 3 and coil 4. This is symmetrical to the flux view seen earlier. In this image, the magnetic flux strength of coil 2 is higher on the center and right side than on the left side of the figure because it passes through the magnet in the center, which is the shortest path. Why do I need a heating lamp, not an LED light? The power factor of the LED light varies on the applied voltage. On the contrary, the heating lamp power factor is always one, so the output power calculation is easy. Please remember I have only one power meter.
This is a setup view to measure the strength of the electromagnetic flux that two primary coils can produce in a transformer with one side open. The darker the blue color in the flux viewing film, the stronger the magnetic flux. You can see that the two primary coils produce a magnetic flux of up to 2,500 gauss. The total Gaussian of this electromagnet and N52 magnet become approximately 7,500 Gauss, but a lower magnetic force is formed when the magnetic path of the transformer is closed. Thus, the magnetic force does not saturate much in silicon steel in the transformer. The coil layout of the transformer has been modified as above to increase efficiency. The following video shows why it should be. In this video, we will test only with the body of the transformer to minimize ambient interference in order to achieve definite results. As you can see in this video, as the primary coils get closer, the voltage drops. Therefore, the efficiency of the transformer also decreases. So in this video, we test the two coils as far away as possible. Let's compare the two tests. We can check the output voltage in ampere. Also, the heat lamp has no induction parts, therefore, the power factor is 1. Input power is 78 watts. In the input power calculation, the inductance of coil 1 and coil 2 reduce the power factor to 0.64. When the power from secondary coil is applied to the heating lamp, the power factor at this time is 1. Because the heating lamp does not have the part that will generate the inductance, in this case, the power factor is 1. This is the performance data of a magnetless transformer. The efficiency is 86%. Okay, let's measure the magnet-assisted transformer. The N52 magnet is installed inside the transformer, which causes the magnetic flux to saturate and leak out of the silicon steel. As a result, the silicon steel in my hand reacts and makes noise. This is the performance data of a magnet-assisted transformer. As seen above, the output voltage had little effect, but the current was amplified due to the influence of the magnet. Although there are some deficiencies in this experiment, 
It can be said that the N52 magnet played a meaningful role in the production of free energy. Thank you for your watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel.